Oh, sick. What is going on, guys? DBG here, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the new cards in NBA 2K20, my team. So these cards right here are some of the new throwback playoff moments cards, and honestly, I think a few of them are pretty decent. Um, are any of these spectacular? You just never know. Some of them are okay, some of them are not, but sure, look, um, it's... Um, throwback playoff moments. It's not like we're probably like we're realistically we're probably getting buzzer beaters tomorrow because it's been two weeks, and we are probably getting a new. I don't think we get new prime on Friday. I think we probably get flash on Friday, which um is going to be uh pretty good. Also mods, can you please do something with like can you please do something with the chat? Can you please do something with the chat mods? Um, but anyway, yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to two hundred thousand subscribers, and right now we are less than twelve k away. We're actually just over eleven k, which is absolutely crazy. So now we are going to go over the players. So we got Greg Monroe right here. He's a six eleven power forward. Monroe has got a good mid range shot. Wait, 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 wait. What? When did the Pistons win a playoff game with Greg Monroe? Did the Pistons ever win a playoff game with Greg Monroe? I really don't think... I'm not sure if they did. I'm really not sure if they did. But Greg Monroe, this... It's... This might be the worst card we have gotten in 2K20 in the past month. Oh, okay. Apparently, these are just throwback moments, not playoff moments. Okay, that kind of makes a little bit more sense. But um, this might be the worst card we've gotten in the past month. So he's got no three ball. Yeah, he can dunk. He can't dribble at all. He's quite fast though. Defense is meh. He's oh, he is a six eleven center. He's got a Hall of Fame quick draw, no range. He can't dribble. He is unblockable on tight handles, even though he can't dribble, which is like completely uh completely irrelevant. Only goal clamps. Yeah, this card right here. This may be, this may be the worst car we've seen in a month. And we got Muggsy on Friday. Muggsy. Muggsy is more usable than this card. This card is unusable, lads. It is unusable. Someone said in the chat, Hall of Fame irrelevant. Yeah, that is basically it. It's a Hall of Fame irrelevant badge. Then we've got Al Harrington. This could be the best card in this entire set. So Al Harrington, or if you want to see the SIGs for... Um, Greg Monroe. Greg Monroe has got Michael Beasley, Vince Carter, and no dribbling. So, yeah, that is basically it. And a bad layout package. This card is worthless. Um, and now we have got Al Harrington. Al Harrington has got really pretty decent stats. He's got a good ball handle. He's got pretty good speed to ball and acceleration. He's six foot nine. He's got 96 driving dunk. He's got 95 standing dunk, which is really good. Got great post game. He's got a great three ball. Defense isn't terrible. So he's got an okay steal. Okay, but not great interior defense. But lateral quickness is a big one. Lateral quickness is a big one. But um, the badges are going to be huge on this card. So he's got half quick draw and half range. So he's got every single shooting badge except deep fade, which is actually really, really good. He's also got Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame handles, or say Hall of Fame handles for days, Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame tight handles, gold floor general. Um, defensive stats, he's got Hall of Fame clamps, which is really important. Pogo, Tyrus Fender. I probably would run him at the three. He's got Gold Intimidator as well, which is really good. So, overall, stats-wise, I'm looking at this card and thinking it's a, it's a pretty decent card. One big problem with him, Jump Shot 55. And if you guys don't know what Jump Shot 55 is, we're going to have a look at the, at the spreadsheet right here. Carmelo Anthony, Rui Hachimura, Jabari Parker. Do you know what the similarity between these guys are? None of them can shoot from the corners. That is a massive, massive problem, lads. It is a massive problem. And I have to turn this off. These people are going to spam the hosts. But, yeah, it's a massive problem. Yeah, only a 75 block, but that doesn't make it that much of a difference for a small forward. However, however, with this card right here, he's got Pro 8 moving cross, which is the Simmons tween, which is the best tween in the game. Pro 8 has he, which is really good as well. And he's got the curry size of Pro 2. So he's basically a slightly worse Melo with better six. So if you guys really want a Carmelo Anthony, 
and it's not just because you're a Melo fan, you want to actually use them in-game, this card will be... It'll probably give you like 98% of Melo and be better in some ways, and it'll also be way, way cheaper. So then we got Corey Maggetti. Corey Maggetti. If you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure Maggetti is Vince Carter. He's been a, he was a Vince Carter clone in previous years. I'll see again. So he's got a 94 three ball, 95 mid range, a 90 ball handle, 94 speed, 90 speed ball, 94 acceleration, great driving layup and dunk. He's got great lateral quickness, great perimeter defense, actually pretty good interior defense. So he's um, a pretty good player, a pretty good player stats wise. Let's have a look at his badges. He's got half range, half quick draw. He's got well, he's got all the important ones, Hall of Fame. Again, like all these other badges, they literally they don't matter. Bailout would be a nice one to have, but like look, everything else, everything else is pretty good. So let's have a look at these six. So Corey Maggetti has got jump shot twenty two, which is the same release as half the players in this game. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, jump shot twenty two. Let's go to one. It is cur or sorry, jump shot twenty two. Home shot 22 is Mark Aguirre, um, Rex Chapman, Willis Reed, Brandon Clark, Jack Sim Sigmuth, Earl Bailey, <laughs> Mike Bibby, Chris Mullen, uh, Martellinus, Bob Serra, Rick Smith, um, what's it, Butler, Mike Conley, Andrew Wiggins, Chris Webber, Joe Smith, Spud Webb, Charlie Wood, Tyron Liu, um, Jameer Nelson, Evan Turner, Byron Scott, Jason Terry, Rex Chapman, Lou Hudson, Willis Reed again, um, Steve Smith. Heinrich Sura. Like this release right here, base 22, you can't three hunt with it. You cannot three hunt with it, which is a bit of a problem. So he's got the Pro 4 moving cross, which is the Scotty cross. I'm not sure if that's any good or not. Um, he's got Pro 2 behind the back, which I think is okay. And he's got the Pro 4 Hezzy, which I don't particularly like. So he's he's all right. He's all right. Um, so he'll be fine. He's not going to be good. Like, if you're looking for a good card, he's going to be fine. But he's he's nothing spectacular. Then we are on to Rudy Gobert. So Rudy Gobert is 7-1, max wingspan, which is huge. Unfortunately, he can't shoot. And at this stage in the game, like, I would have thought they'd give him at least, like, a 75-3 ball. Like, this would be so different if he had a 75-3. So he's got a 97 driving, dunk, 95, or 97 standing dunk, 95 driving. He can speed boost. Near perfect defensive stats. He's got great speed, speed ball, and acceleration. Defensive badges, he's got Hall of Fame, Quick Draw, Corner Specialist. He might actually be able to shoot from the corners with those badges. He's got Quick First Step Hall of Fame, Unpluckable Hall of Fame. Also got every defensive badge, at least gold, and most of them um, Hall of Fame. So, yeah, that's um, Rudy Gobert. Sigs-wise, not 81. Um, Sigs-wise, he's got Jumpshot 41, which I don't know. I've never heard of 41 before. DJ Augustine's jumper. I have never heard of that before. I don't know what it is. Um, his drill moves aren't great. I was hoping that he had the normal two moving cross, which is the... Or sorry, he had the normal two behind the back because that's the Giannis behind the back. You know what? Like, he might actually have to be used as a budget, as a Kareem stopper. Like, like he probably is the best defensive player at guarding Kareem in this game. Not gonna lie. If he has good six, he probably will be the best one. Like, he's probably gonna be as good as Matumbo and he'll probably be a lot cheaper, so... Yeah, as the fact Kareem is in the game, he might actually be he might actually be a viable option regarding Kareem. However, they if all they had to do was give him that normal um two behind the back and suddenly um Gobert becomes an actual viable card. And we got Walt Frazier, last card here. Walt Frazier's got a great mid range, great three ball. He's got perfect lateral quickness, great perimeter defense, he's got a ninety four on ball steal tendency, which is really big. He's got Fantastic speed, super acceleration, great driving dunk. So again, he's as good as you can be at this rating. Half quick draw, half range. Half quick first step, tight handles, unpluckable. Half all the defensive badges. So he's honestly like, he's as good as you can possibly be for a 6-4 point guard. Base 81 is a good release. I'm going to say that right now. Base 81 is a good release. Check out. Ooh. No. Pro 5. I don't know. If the pro. I think the Pro 5 size is good. But the Pro 1 cross, the Pro... I, I get it, the T-Mac behind the back is all right because it's glitchy, but that's what you... Like, you want Pro 1 and a rim runner. You want, like, Pro 1 or Normal 2 and a rim runner. You don't want Pro 1... Pro 1, Pro 3, or Pro or Normal 2 are best rim runners. But you don't want Pro 1 and a 3 on a small point guard. 
Oh, not great sigs for a point guard, though. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Of these cards, I think the only one you're going to see people use if he ends up being a budget card is this guy right here. He might have a bit of a... What's his name about him? A bit of a... can't remember his name. Wilson Chandler, as in he's like a really good cheap one. Like If he's around the 10k mark, he could be quite good. I don't see much of a use for Walt Frazier because of his height and his sigs don't really work well with his height. Gobert as a Kareem stopper, but realistically, how many... Um, guys in this game are going to be running with Kareem I think he might come up against Kareem maybe one in every four or five games so is it worth having him in your squad just for that I don't know Maggetti is just another one of those base 22 players he's another like Jimmy Butler like there's so many assignments except he's smaller 6'6 so I don't think it'd be worth anything and Greg Monroe is one of the worst cards we've seen in a long long time so anyway yeah that is pretty much it that's the video this is not an exciting batch of cards thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe